Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Empoleon. Empoleon is a fun Pokemon to use, although I will admit it is my least favourite of the three starters in this generation. Um, but that being said, uh, it's still a pretty good Pokemon. It's got high special attack, high special defence, in fact enough bulk for it to live quite a few different hits. Um, it has got quite a good coverage on the special front and even on the physical front and a couple of setup attacks as well which works really nicely for it. Now before we get started, if you could please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, it would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. So I've got four sets today. The first set is a kind of more supporting Empoleon, but also designing to um, cause some damage as well. So on here, we've got leftovers, allows us to recover um, our health each turn. But we're going to be taking damage because we are quite slow. Could run this in a trick room with minus speed natures, but that's up to you. And we have Torrent as the ability. The other ability is Defiance, which in the special, the special set has absolutely no uh, reason to be run. So move-wise, we've got Scold, which is a 30% 30 30 chance to burn, which is absolutely huge, especially with there being a lot of physical, scary Pokemon on there. I uh, would definitely recommend uh, you going for um, Scold on there over things like Surf, but if you want the more powerful uh, aspect, if you go for like Thunder Wave on a different Pokemon or um, you set like Toxic Spikes, then do go for Surf or something like that. Default to get rid of any hazards on the field. Now this does get rid of hazards on your side of the field as well as the other side of the field, which is really, really annoying, but um, Default is um, good for getting rid of the hazards on your side as well. So pros and cons, but if you're wanting to get rid of things like um, a Rosary that's stacking up hazards, then Default can be a really good option there. Flash Cannon to be a powerful steel type attack, it hits a lot of Pokemon for a lot of decent damage. Um, obviously, uh, steel type move is probably one of the best moves in the game, coverage wise. And then Ice Beam just hits, again, more different Pokemon, including things like Grass types and Ground types, which are slightly more problematic for you. The only thing you really need to be concerned about is the, um, is the Electric Typing. Uh, because that is one that is going to cause you some problems. Now, EVs are with max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. That just allows us to cause some damage to uh, the opposing Pokemon. Now, moving on to the second Napoleon, we have got Swords Dance on here with leftovers. This can work relatively nicely in a trick room scenario, especially in doubles, um, but in singles, you know, you can pull it off, but it's more difficult to do so, and you normally get taken out of the trick room before you can really put, put things into work. So Swords Dance allows you to double your attack uh, from 298 to, uh, I think that's 596, um, which is absolutely gigantic, and realistically can one-shot a lot of Pokemon. Uh, you've got Steel Wing on here, powerful Steel type move, boosted by Stab, hits a lot of different Pokemon, Waterfall, powerful Water type Stab, has the chance to flinch as well for Pokemon slower than you, and finally Aqua Jet. If you get to plus 2, plus 4 in your Sword Stance, then Aqua Jet is something that can really go for a massive amount of damage. You've also got your Defiance ability on here, which allows you to increase your um, attack stat by 2 by any um, stat that's lowered by a foe. So for example, if you get Shadow Balls and your Special Defense Balls, then you are going to have a plus two in your attack. If you get Intimidated, you are going to have an overall plus one in your attack. So even in that case, it does work for you. Obviously things like Charm as well. I think Charm harshly lowers your attack. Um, obviously harshly lowering your attack, then you can race back up to normal. So it really, really works for Empoleon in this situation. Like, you are going to raise up your attack more or go back to neutral based on what happens. EV wise, max HP, max attack, bulky enough to be able to live with some different hits. Adamant is the go to ability, ability? Nature. Nature here. Um, to increase up your attack, lower down your special attack. You don't need that special attack, so why bother having invested in it? And then uh, four EVs are whatever you want. You could go for speed, you could go for special defense, you could go for defense. It's up to you what you decide to put it into for there. Moving on to the third set I've got, I have got an agility set and I've combined this with Yawn um, because Yawn obviously allows you to make the Pokemon drowsy. Now if it's drowsy then it's going to probably either switch out the next turn or go to sleep. Best case scenario it's go to sleep because that allows you to freely set up an agility on it and then you can use your Hydro Pump and your Blizzard. Now they are two high powered attacks that do have lower accuracy so if you want to go for something that has higher accuracy go for like Surf and Ice Beam instead, but I thought Hydro Pump and Blizzard work quite nicely. 
Torrent is the ability, again, this is a special mon, you don't need Defiant. And if you're low on health, you can always go for that. Obviously, um, Hydro Pump, Torrent Boost, which is absolutely gigantic. Life Orb allows you to do 1.3 times damage, which obviously causes a lot more problems for Pokemon. Um, and if you're set up your agility, you're going to be faster than them. So realistically, with these two types of moves, uh, you can cover the vast majority of Pokemon that you are going to see. Um, even your weaknesses in like uh, ground types. But obviously things like uh, Electrotypes are still your problem, so do be cautious of that. But that Yawn should allow you to cause some problems for your opponents. Um, either they'll switch out or they will uh, go to sleep, which will allow you to get a free agility off anyways. EVs go for max special attack and max speed with a modest nature, so more special attack and less attack, and four EVs in special defense. Um, you could always go for the plus speed nature, but realistically, um, at this point, a lot of the really, really, really fast Pokemon are not available in the game, so going for the not plus speed nature actually could work in your favor, because nothing's going to outspeed you, not even like... Um, a Scarf Pokemon at like base 100 speed at this point, at least I don't think it does. It might do, but it might not. Moving on to the final set, I've gone for like a double setup set, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't. I, I thought about going for a double setup set. So I thought about the idea of Agility and Swords Dance. I've seen that on a couple of sets before on more quirky sets. But Agility, Swords Dance, Waterfall and Steel Wing or Earthquake just working really, really nicely. Um, if you can get all of that set up, you can obviously combine that with something like Sleep Powder on another Pokemon, um, or you can just be bulky and allow yourself to live a few hits. Um, but the last one I went for was a Choice Band set. Now, with your special sets, you have got very limited coverage, but on your physical sets, you have got more of um, more of a coverage on there. So Choice Band allows you to get 1.5 times in your attack stat. Defiance obviously will boost that up even further, which is absolutely fantastic. You've got Waterfall, your powerful stab, water type attack. If you can get any speed onto your team through like Baton Pass, if it's legal, then obviously do that. Uh, for the flinch effect, you've got Earthquake, powerful ground type uh, move that hits a lot of different Pokemon, um, including your weak to electric types. Steel Wing, which is a powerful um, steel type attack when it's boosted by stab. And then Shadow Claw, just for a bit more coverage. I thought it's a move that I could probably show off there. But EVs got come from max HP and max attack from adamant nature, so more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. You could go for a speed investment, but realistically, I think the bulk investment here is going to be better, or running it in Trick Room. In fact, this is a perfect example of how to run Napoleon on the Trick Room, so you could run it with a brave nature and go for like the, the zero IVs. But that is going to be all for today, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do let please do let me know, please do like and subscribe, also comment what your um, sets are for Empoleon down below, I'd really appreciate seeing that. Anyways, that is it, I'm going to get out of here, so I'll see you soon.